For 31 years, I have been acting in major motion pictures and TV series, but you may not recognize my face. I'm Doug Jones. I am an actor. I got into acting out of a need almost to be validated and it was at Ball State University that I discovered the art of mime. It's a very visual form of communication and entertainment. Little did I know that this would be early training ground for the career that I was going to have in later years. I had no idea. After moving out to Hollywoodland in March of 1985 and thinking okay now's the time to pursue this acting thing. My fourth booking was for a McDonald's campaign. That got me kind of hooked into, oh, he's that tall, skinny guy who wears stuff and uh, moves well in it and doesn't complain while doing so. My first feature film was Batman Returns. I got that audition because of my contorted legs. In the credits, it says Thin Clown, which kind of, mm, it's kind of self-descriptive, isn't it? I have been in over 150 productions. That would include everything from feature films like Hocus Pocus, Hellboy 1, Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. The Fawn in Pan's Labyrinth was a page-turning career moment for me. Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer. I played the Silver Surfer. Star Trek Discovery as Commander Saru. And most recently, The Shape of Water. So when asked about how long does a makeup take, it, depending on the creature, it can be anything from uh, a suit going on and zipping up the back, uh, or a makeup that is applied to you from head to toe. For instance, uh, as Commander Saru on Star Trek Discovery, it's uh, around two hours a day, which is mercifully short. Flip side would be an Abe Sapien from the Hellboy movies. So that's one of the longer ones. That took seven hours a day. Wearing rubber bits, uh, it's everything that you think it would be. It is hotter than you want it to be. It is heavier than you want it to be. It is more isolating than you want it to be. You can't always make get access to your naughty bits to go pee if you want. Why go through all of this makeup application, the time that it takes, and you can create monsters with VFX now. I think people like to watch other people, so even if that person is playing a monster, they want to connect with a human's interpretation and performance of that monster. It's old school cinema magic. I kind of get the best of both worlds when it comes to being a public celebrity. The bigger movies I've been in and the bigger things that I'm known for, I look like this in, in them. <laughs> On the street, uh, I'm just the tall skinny guy. That's a gift. Now that I'm in, in a movie like The Shape of Water with 13 Oscar nominations, I'm getting recognized in public a little bit more. But it's still not to the point where I, where I have people hiding in my bushes hoping to get a snapshot of me topless. I, that's not happening yet. Et quand j'ai commencé à jouer ce rôle, j'étais bien jeune, je n'avais pas cette barbe, et il fallait que je me blanchisse les tempes pour paraître plus vieux. Maintenant, je n'ai plus la peine, j'ai l'âge du rôle. Je m'appelle Roger Desfossés. Je suis comédien. La pièce que nous jouons s'appelle « La cantatrice chauve ». La première fois que j'ai joué ce personnage, c'était en 1958. Cela fait 60 ans. Je crois qu'on peut le signaler parce que ça n'est jamais arrivé dans aucun théâtre sur cette planète. Je joue donc le rôle de M. Smith. Il s'agit d'un couple, M. et Mme Smith, qui vont recevoir chez eux des amis qui s'appellent Monsieur et Madame Martine. Fantastique Pour avoir joué le spectacle depuis tant d'années, le personnage de Monsieur Smith, que j'interprète, est devenu un grand ami. Je vis avec lui, je dirais même jour et nuit. Après 6000 représentations de ma part, on pourrait croire que je me suis lassé. Eh ben non. Je joue toujours ce spectacle avec beaucoup d'enthousiasme et beaucoup de plaisir. 
Oui, il arrivera un jour où je serai obligé d'abandonner ce rôle. Mais ce sera pour moi un pincement au cœur.